Today we're going to cover ArcGIS Monitor for Administrators Diagnosing System Health. You can follow along by going to our public demo site at arcgismonitor.esri.com. Start by clicking the Login button on the demo site. Multiple measurements are used to define the health of your ArcGIS enterprise. Data is collected at each tier and software including infrastructure, databases, ArcGIS server, portal, and web server. On the menu bar, click on Alerts. Start by clicking on a time frame of interest for diagnosing your system health. In this example, we're going to pick yesterday. Next, we're going to look at the level of alerts. When a system is not healthy, there might be dozens or even hundreds of alerts. To help analyze these alerts, ArcGIS Monitor divides them into three categories, critical, warning, and info. Addressing critical alerts should be the top priority of every administrator since they are impacting the availability of a site or a service. Warning alerts may be errors recorded in a log or resources running low, such as memory, disk, CPU, or network bandwidth. Info alerts or other log conditions are just informational for the administrator. Beside level, make sure only the critical box is checked. This will allow us to focus on the critical items. Beside status, make sure the open box is checked. Here we find there are no open critical alerts. All of them have been closed for the time period of interest. There are several options for investigating the alert. We can filter by the category and by the counter name of interest. We can also click on the last alert time frame to look at a chart when the alert condition occurred. Some counter names have log error links that we can click on to parse log entries for that time period. Other counters such as ArcGIS Server or Portal have admin URL links that you can click to check the site details. Next, we will look at the alerts that occurred yesterday for warnings and info. This reveals a long list of alerts, and the good news is that most of them are closed, indicating that the alert condition is no longer occurring. Let's focus on the alerts still open from yesterday. In this example, we have some information alerts recorded in the Windows event log, and we have some warning alerts for ArcGIS Server and Amazon. Next, we will look at root cause analysis. In the menu bar, click on RCA. Knowing that alerts happened and their criticality is a first step, but another step is needed to understand the root cause. The administrator should be familiar with their solution architecture, tiers, and software, as well as the concepts of source and impact. For example, the outage of an ArcGIS data store would impact all of the tiers above it. <clears throat> the source would be the ArcGIS data store, and the impact would be all the ArcGIS server and portal sites that were affected by the outage. Next, we're going to discuss typical cases using the root cause analysis. In the set time dropdown, choose yesterday and click execute. In the bin dropdown, choose a time frame of 10 10 a.m. In this example, we have an overloaded system. When a system receives loads that exceed the capacity, this results in excessive resource utilization, such as 100% CPU, 0 megabytes free memory, or 0% idle disk. This in turn impacts performance. In extreme cases, this causes timeout conditions and impacts the stability of the enterprise environment. We can use driving in a congested freeway as an analogy. Driving speed is reduced. Notice the source of the ArcGIS server alert was a usage spike in the ArcGIS enterprise environment. More specifically, the throughput was greater than 5 transactions per second. Another case of root cause analysis is a system bottleneck. System bottlenecks impact performance and stability, while resource utilization is low. The bottlenecks often manifest themselves during periods of increased user load. Below is an example case of when increased user load create free instances bottleneck. The resolution is to increase the min and max instances in ArcGIS server to reduce wait time. In the set time frame, choose yesterday and click the execute button. Unstable infrastructure is another case to look for. Restarting services, change permissions, 
expired password or virtualization over allocation can impact system stability. In the comments field, look for the following text. Are there any unexpected processes consuming memory? Are there CPU usage spikes occurring in your environment? Also check if the ArcGIS server services have stopped unexpectedly impacting the stability of the environment. Press Ctrl F to open a search box and type in reboot. Reboot conditions are also impacting the stability of the enterprise environment. If the reboot is not planned, check the OS event logs for details. And finally, search for database to check if any of the databases have stopped running unexpectedly, impacting the stability of your environment. This concludes our tutorial on diagnosing system health. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.